Hello, Butterfingers here. We're back at Saco Studios, and today we're going to be working on projectiles for a 12 gauge shotgun made out of glass. This is from a video I saw online where the guy was shooting glass rounds, and they are the regular drop gathers. Soft glass, you can find them in pretty much any store around the country as far as crafts and whatnot. Lots of people use them in the bottom of fish tanks or they'll use them for sticking on the side of walls or whatnot. Real simple, easy things to make. Well, it, the thought occurred to me that they are soft glass. So I'm thinking, well, you know, we could really do this guy a favor and give him some real glass. So we're gonna attempt to make a shotgun projectile. So these are gonna be a little bit of a taper, a little bit of a gather, and I'm gonna try to make three or four different types for him so he can get a good cross section. Have to remember. This porcelain of glass is super dangerous and it's do this in a safe form. manner. So I just want to stress that fact. That what we're doing here is very dangerous when we're talking about making some porcelain glass shotgun shells or shotgun projectiles, I should I say. So uh, I just wanted to get that warning before we get started. So don't try this at home. Okay, well here we are. Here's what we're gonna do. Shotgun slug. If you look at it, it's got a little uh, grain to it. It's hollow. So it's basically a sheet over a form that's press molded. Uh, of course, I'm sure these are poured, but uh, and poured right back out. Some type of two-piece mold, maybe. Well, that's lead. We don't like lead. We're gonna go with glass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some solid cylinders. The idea that we're gonna try and make them as smooth as possible and as as consistent as possible as far as a cylinder is for a projectile. We're gonna taper some off to make it look more like a rounded nose. And then I'm going to make some to make them actually look like a bullet projectile that you would see in almost a 50 cal. Because I want to see a little bit more too. So uh, we're going to get an idea of what we're doing here. So here we go. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, we got some pieces made. Uh, we got a little bit of a cross section. I got a wad cutter. I got something exactly the same size as what we needed. I have something twice the size that we needed. I have something as a wad cutter that is almost three times. And then we have a 50 BMG round, which I just had to make because, you know, as close as I could anyway. I don't have one laying around. But anyway, I uh, hope this is uh, something to play around with. We'll see what it looks like. All right, well, thank you guys. Until next time. Later.